So we're here at the TI, and who are you? I'm Frank Moisier. So what do you do? I uh, manage the DLP Pico business for Texas Instruments. So here you have a really small uh, projector right here. Yeah, this is the world's smallest DLP Pico projector. And actually, this is getting uh, video and, uh, and power across USB. So you're looking at about a watt of power here that's getting you about 20 lumens of brightness. And the application is really dual screen application. So this is connected into this Microsoft Surface product. And we're seeing a video here. Uh, but you can actually uh, do work on the Surface computer while you're watching a, a video. So you can have multiple, uh, multiple screens, uh, pretty cool. Uh, product and really, uh, really the smallest uh, DLP that we've uh, seen out in the marketplace. So this is really small. How small is your module? Our module is really about this size right here, and then the imaging chip is really uh, that that small. So can we see the module again? Sure. So this is this is actually even a higher higher spec. This one, right? Yeah, this is not necessarily the module that goes in there, but this is a typical size of a module that would go inside of, a, inside of an embedded type product or inside of a very small standalone product like the one we're sharing so, with you. So what are we looking at here in the module? Uh, you're looking at uh, the illumination, uh, and you're, uh, you're looking at the illumination, which is LEDs in this case. Uh, DLP will work with lasers, it will work with uh, LEDs, but you're seeing illumination here with uh, LEDs. You're seeing the DLP chipset, you're seeing the optics right here, um, and then you've got a little bit of the electronics on the back here. Uh, so, but this is essentially a projector here in the in the. So this fingertips. is so small. This people uh, uh, makers should be able to integrate this in phones. Yes, uh, well, we've seen it in phones already. It's been in uh, several Samsung phones already, and we think we'll see more phones over time as well. And tablets. And tablets, that's correct. That's correct. So that takes us to here. Uh, we have, uh, uh, this is uh, a Lenovo Yoga 2 13-inch tablet right here. This has uh, got a projection capability that's uh, within the spine. Uh, and this uh, this is uh, up at, uh, up at uh, uh, like, 40, 40 lumens or so of brightness. Um, and, uh, and this is a fully integrated uh, unit, uh, and it's based on our new uh, TRP pixel technology. Uh, so it gives you the highest efficiency uh, at, the, at, the, at a great resolution. What is TRP pixel technology? Um, it's basically tilt and roll pixel technology. We announced it a, a, about a year or two ago, and, uh, and it's now going into all of our new chips, and it basically allows us to actually tilt uh, the pixel at a higher tilt angle, which allows us for a lo more light capture, higher efficiency uh, chipsets. And it also uh, shrinks the pixel size down to about 1 20th of a human hair. That allows us to pack more pixels into a given space, so it allows us to go to higher resolution in smaller spaces at the highest efficiency levels with the highest brightness levels. So what are you showing me right here? Uh, this, is, uh, this is a product from Philips. It's called the Screenio. This is uh, full set-top box integration, full streaming capabilities. Uh, it's got uh, 3.1 sound uh, built in, and this is uh, also using sh ultra short throw technology, but essentially it's a uh, screenless TV, so we can get images here uh, to at least 100 inches uh, from, this, from this very small box. Very uh, near, you just put it near the wall. Yeah, and so you can see right now if I I position this, depending upon my ambient light condition, if I'm in a brighter room, I may want to get to a brighter image so I can reduce the size of the image, or I can pull the image back and get to a bigger image. So the idea here is this is a lens that does this, right? It's a nice wide wide lens. Well, it's, it's DLP technology in conjunction with great optics that Philips has accomplished in this product. And some of the value of this product is that you don't have to hang a screen, you don't have to hang a flat panel. Uh, you don't have to connect up the fat, flat panel, so you can get everything right here in this box. You just plug it in, and you can get data and content to it wirelessly. So it's a really great solution for a big, big picture application. It can go into entertainment, it can go into education, it can go into enterprise. So lots of different applications for that product. And then here, let me tell you, tell you about this product. This is uh, this is an HD product from Brookstone. It's a it's a smallest. This is the smallest HD product. Uh, that has hit the market. Uh, this is about 200 lumens of brightness. Uh, it's based upon our 0.3720p chipset. Um, and you can see it's a, it's a very sleek design and you can see the image quality, how awesome that is. Uh, great contrast ratio, great color quality. 
uh, and then also great efficiency. So uh, this is packing 200 lumens. Nothing like this has ever been accomplished before. So this is a real milestone for how the did industry. They, how did they manage to do this? Uh, based upon our, uh, our 0.3720p technology, so it's really this chip right here. Um, again, based upon, yeah, yeah. based upon uh, this pixel size and the tilt angle here, uh, we're able to capture more light energy than ever before. And then this has got some great processing power in it. It's got something called IntelliBright. And IntelliBright actually looks at scene-by-scene -scene data to optimize the illumination. It also uses ambient light sensing to optimize the picture. So you're seeing electronic improvements, you're seeing uh, imager improvements that are behind creating this, uh, this groundbreaking product. Does uh, TIDLP make the best contrast, the best colors in the whole market? Uh, DLP is known for, uh, for being in 90% um, of the cinemas in the world that require great colors and great contrast ratio. That same technology, that same core technology is what we're bringing here into the Pico space. And so we're taking that technology, which has great image quality, it has great contrast ratio, great colors, into all of these small form factors, these tiny form factors that you're seeing. So consumers should be assured that they're seeing some of the best images in the world. So you have 90% market share of cinema in the world, digital cinema? In the cinema market, uh, about nine out of every 10, uh, 10 cinemas use DLP uh, cinema And technology. you're also the leader and consumer projector. Uh, we, uh, we play in the consumer uh, market and we're one of the leaders in that market as well. All right, let's see some more examples. This is, uh, when we look at this uh, product right here, uh, this is uh, from South Korea Telecom. It's, uh, or SKT is uh, the way they abbreviate it. What's very novel about this product is it also uses our new TRP technology, 854 by 480. Uh, this gets to uh, really nice brightness levels. Some novelties, this is the first product that actually Pico projector that's using magnetic uh, charging. So you, get, you actually can run this, this has a battery in it. And, and, uh, and, and so you can see it just, you can just pop it there and it pops into place. Uh, and it so fully charges like this and it's That's awesome. correct. The other novelty about this product is that it has, uh, it has mirror cast capabilities, wireless mirror cast capabilities. So it's getting the content through this tablet right now. Uh, and uh, so you can stream content to it. Uh, and the battery life is at least two hours on this product. It's really nice design and yeah, compact. Really so cool. this one and that one, they're both battery also. Uh, yeah, these are both battery operated products. In fact, how, uh, how long does the battery last on this? This should be at least two hours of battery life on this. So it's awesome, uh, so, it's so compact. Yeah, so you should be able to watch a full length movie on this. Uh, people are buying it for enterprise applications where they need to make uh, presentations in a corporate environment. Uh, students are buying it for study groups and sharing. And then you're seeing it go into entertainment uh, uh, avenues as well and then gaming. I'd like to have this with me everywhere and I have a cinema in any hotel room I go to. Yeah, pretty much. It's amazing. Yeah, it is, it is amazing. And uh, let's go around here. Right here, this is, a, this is a product that's doing very, very well in China. This is uh, by a company called Jimmy. Um, it's not this, Xiaomi. No, this is Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. It's uh, X-G-I-M-I. And this is a product that, as I mentioned, that is doing very well in China in the screenless TV market. Uh, this has full tuner capability. Uh, and then if we, if we can get this, uh, uh, sh we can sh kind of show you all the available content that, that comes from here. Now this it has is, all kinds of connectors in the back. Yes, uh, it has all sorts of connected connection And it's a smart projector. It has Android built in. This has Android built in. It's uh, running 1280 by 800, so it's uh, full, so it's HD. Uh, and then what you're going to see here is uh, these are all of the uh, channel opportunities that, that people have available to them. So this is just, uh, when this comes up here, it'll it, be all the different uh, capabilities of different content that you can get online immediately. So you, you can just get the box and that's it, connect directly to the internet and you have a that's ton it. of content. Right, so on particularly demand. For, for people who are living you know, in a mobile environment, uh, they want to move from place to place. They don't have to pack up a TV that they have to mount. Yeah. Uh, they can go ahead and just take this box anywhere, and then it wirelessly connects to the uh, to, to, to all the, the internet. Demand. And so that's correct. In theory, it could be Netflix and YouTube and uh, all the Chinese ones that, that do that's that. That's correct. And that's uh, correct. And he's trying to get that up for you right now. Google uh, Play and Movies is there, and you go uh, back to the Hulu, Hulu Plus. To the online. 
Okay, yeah. so this is what we were trying to show you. If you go back. Yeah, so this is all the content that's available. These are all uh, the stations, if you will, that you can get access to uh, in China. So this is a, a really novel approach. Uh, it's not dissimilar to what you can do with Chromecast or Roku in conjunction with these devices as well. So there's a potential that you might corner, you might own the market of, of huge uh, entertainment. Like uh, there's a, either there's a backlit TV market or there's a projector. Yeah, we're just excited to bring these products to market and so we think there's large opportunities for where these products can go and so that makes it really exciting for us. How's the, how's the black levels? Let's go to that one over there. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah. Oh, this, this one. Okay. Yeah. This, is, this is a product from Polytech. Uh, this is about 400 lumens of brightness. It has all sorts of capabilities. It's very similar to the product uh, that you just, just saw. It's also smart. This is also a smart projector as well. <laughs> it, has, uh, it has the capability, so it's got a very novel uh, system to actually focus here. Uh, you use this uh, this controller to do that. All right. Here it is. Okay. And then you also use this to control uh, to control volume as well. And, and this has great sound quality built in to it as well. Nice. That's really cool. Okay. Um, and then also this microphone can be a karaoke, so basically <laughs> this is a controller and you can do karaoke on it as well. That's cool. So lots of flexibility. ZTE. Uh, okay, this, thought, is, like, this is a new product from ZTE. It's uh, basically a hotspot so eight people can connect up to it. Uh, this has, uh, has a novel screen built in it right here and so you can, uh, you can basically uh, as a control panel, you can use this uh, LCD control panel, which is really a, a nice feature on the product. This is the S Pro 2? That's correct. And selling in the U.S.? This has just been announced here at the show, so it hasn't even started to hit the retail channels yet. But I would expect that that would happen here in the first half of 20, uh, 2015. So this is a really crazy gadget. There's like tons of things going on here. It is. It, it's, got, it's packed with great capabilities. So, for example, it will do... Uh, it will do keystone correction so we're, and autofocus. So you're seeing both those functions happen here. So as I tilt this down, you can still see it's maintained image integrity of the rectangular uh, 16 by 9 image. And then it's also autofocused it at the same time. So there's a little camera in there? Yes, it's got camera capabilities to, to help with the autofocus. And the camera is uh, smart in a way that it can focus automatically. Yes, it directs that information to the uh, to the imaging to the optical engine, which then puts it into into proper focus. Because uh, DLP needs focusing. There's no like a uh, uh, way to do an infinite focus system. Uh, there, there's different uh, different techniques that are possible with DLP, whether you're using lasers or whether you're using LEDs. With LEDs, uh, this is a way of doing uh, of doing autofocus. When you do use LED DLP, you need focusing, but there's a way to do autofocus with there's a camera. A but there's also, you know, there's also different designs in the optical engines where optical designers can create very wide depth of field so that it stays in focus over a very wide range. So it just depends upon the application of what, uh, of what is being targeted uh, and what the designers are trying to accomplish. But this is certainly a way, this is uh, a this really This is the second instance. product they, they release, so that means the first one has already been a success and a bunch of people want the upgrade and that's why they release the, it. The first one right now is in Sprint stores, you can go buy it. Uh, we'll see where this one goes, uh, but we'll have to talk to ZT to find out where they're going to be, uh, be shipping this product. But we're really excited. Image quality is fantastic. As, I don't know if you're capturing, you can see it here, but the uh, black levels are great. Contrast ratio is great. It's a very image just is, is stunning. So we see with HKT and with the ZTE, this is a telecom market. So it's through the telecom industry that this, the DLP projectors can get distributed. We are seeing these products because they get big picture experience from such a small device. We are seeing a lot of interest from the carriers throughout the world in terms of capitalizing on that capability in conjunction with mobile devices. All right. Okay. This is. So there we are doing a Miracast again. Yeah, this is Miracast uh, to this uh, model from Aptek. Uh, this is uh, 
this is a 100 lumen uh, plus model and, uh, and it has Miracast capabilities so it's getting content here from uh, this, uh, this tablet. All right. And then moving on over here. Aptek has been pretty uh, successful with their projectors. Yep, they, they have a very uh, strong presence in, in the European market. Uh, They're one of the, the leaders in Pico, no? They, they sell are, tons. They are a great, a great customer and we, we, we love Aptek. So if you look at here, uh, uh, this is a product from LG. Uh, this is based upon our new 0.3720p. Uh, this, uh, this also has uh, uh, TV capability right here, so you can get TV on demand through this. Uh, it's got a TV tuner built in. That's uh, crazy. This size, yeah, you have a TV so tuner is, built in? This is at 300 lumens. And, uh, and you can kind of see the, uh, the image quality, how clear it is. And also, you can see the color quality, contrast ratio. You can just see how nice that is. So when you, when you talk about 300 lumen uh, TI DLP LED, it's, it seems brighter than competing uh, technologies when you talk lumen amounts, right? Yeah, there's, uh, we're able to get to really nice brightness levels because of our, the architecture of DLP. Uh, the, the, way it, the way it works with LEDs allows it to get to really fantastic efficiency levels and that's really one of the reasons why, why people use it in their products and uh, we're really excited about the capability. Like the, 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 the way it looks, is it kind of like uh, 50% or double the, like a 300 lumen TIDLP LED, it might be similar kind of feeling as a 600 uh, in another technology. There is no question that the saturated color nature of the LEDs allows the perceived brightness to be higher than what we typically look at because the colors are so are so saturated. Uh, so that makes it perceived to be much higher brightness levels, that's true. And how does it compare to the backlit technologies, the LCDs? Uh, how are your black, black levels and uh, the colors? Uh, well, you can, you know, you can see that for yourself. The black levels are very, very strong. Uh, the contrast ratios are very strong, and uh, and we think that's just going to get better over time. Uh, both at the, the, we see contrast improvements happening at the panel level, at the optical engine level, but also as a function of some of the electronics and processing, image processing that's now going on in some of these products. And uh, this is kind of like the way it was intended to be seen, like a cinema. The, the, the filmmakers designed their movies for that kind of right. They they depending upon where the uh, where the optical engine manufacturers want to optimize the color gamut, they can target uh, various color gamuts. Whether it's uh, whether it's more of a Hollywood color gamut or more saturated, that's really up to the up to the manufacturer of where they want to position that. So let's see some of the okay, other crazy yeah. these are uh, crazy things. Yeah, you have there's over some here. really cool stuff over here. What's going on here? Okay, this is a, a product from Perch. Uh, this is, yeah. you're seeing uh, this projection coming out of the top of this box right here, but really the projector is really only this size, if that small, just the palm of my hands creating this image that you're seeing right here. If you look at it, they're also using camera technology purchase uh, to be able to do some of the interactivity that we're going to demonstrate for you. Uh, so when we look at this, you can kind of see that this is just a regular surface. There's nothing uh, special about it. Uh, and we're able to uh, do touch activity this way. Um, and then we can move this off and it can provide information about the product. We can get even deeper information about the product, put it back. So there's a couple of things that are happening here. One is that we're illuminate, the, the projection is serving as illumination for this. For this uh, it's also uh, capable of providing all the informational content and also uh, in the future you can imagine that the projection can actually put images on these products it's, itself. That's not there today but that's something that's certainly possible. So this kind of interaction with projectors is absolutely awesome. And yeah. it, it, this is you know, kind of like just starting still, it, right? But, yeah, the coolest thing about it is that it makes any surface, it's, it's possible to make any surface a display. So And a touch display. Our, and a touch display, and an interactive display, you're right. So uh, we're really excited about that, and it's really possible now, especially because of all the, all the technology developments that are happening at the chipset level, but also from our partners. We have some great uh, optical engine guys, like the best in the industry, that are working on DLP. And so, uh, so we could expect really great things uh, to continue to happen in the future. So hardware makers from all over the world should contact you and you can connect them with uh, 
uh, uh, technology companies that are able to design these kinds of solutions for Ab table touch. Absolutely, we've got we've got optical engine guys, and people can go out to ti.com and go look at all the stuff under it, uh, uh, under our uh, video and data display. Uh, we have data sheets out there. We have EVMs that people can go buy today, uh, where the developers can start to experiment with the technology. Uh, and then we've got lists of uh, different optical engine companies that they can go to, and they can go even procure those optical engines through our website. So a lot of uh, a lot of activity, a lot of um, we're making it very easy for developers to get started with the technology. I think uh, TI DLP is uh, totally awesome for entertainment, but I think the Pico projector on the table is the even going to be bigger. It's going to be bigger. Yeah, this is some, the top. Some, some the very table, cool stuff. the interactive is is awesome. Yeah, this some kind very, of stuff. Very very cool. Stuff. And now I want to have you know like a smartphone or a tablet. Uh, yeah. Make a huge. Huge yeah. table, touch the possibilities table. are really, really pretty cool. And here's an example. Yeah, this is a, a great new product from HP. This is uh, called the HP Sprout. Uh, this really is a full uh, desktop PC, but it also combines combines virtual world and physical world at the speed of thought. So let me take you through uh, through a demonstration here. Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna just simply create a postcard, right? And so we go in here, we select, we're going to pick New York, which is my favorite city. So uh, we bring that down here, um, and then we're going to say, okay, yeah, that's, that's the image we want. And now we go over to the camera, and we're going to want to put some things in here. Let's put a butterfly, let's put this orange and this star in here. And now we're going to just go ahead and take a picture of these. Now we're just taking a 2D picture. This has has uh, cameras in it that allow for 3D capture, and HP will actually be working uh, on that capability in a more extensive way um, moving forward. So it can actually take a 3D capture. Right now you're capturing in 2D, and then yes. what are you going to do and with so it? Now we've got images here All right, that, that, are, they that stay. are now. Yeah, so now we can move those images around in this document. Uh, so you have, took away the orange, but it's still there. That's it. That's exactly right. And so we're going to actually put it in the skyline of New York City and put a star up there and put a butterfly in there. And, and we're going to uh, say... You can make the butterfly bigger. That's right. And we're going to say... And we're going to now put a message in here. And we can do this message... Uh, we can actually do this message uh, here uh, with your finger. You can, you can write with your finger. So we're going to say, welcome, here. And then we're going to take... Or we can use a stylus pen. A stylus uh, somewhere. Which you can just use uh, anything, right? I know there's, no, there's a, a stylus. Specific uh, stylus pen. Yeah, uh, because this that is a special. Is up here, but we'll write it for right now. We'll write it with our hands. Yeah. Okay, so we'll say welcome, uh, Charbax, right? Is it this one? No. We'll say welcome, Charbax, yeah. to DLP. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then we'll say okay, that that looks good. Maybe it could look a little better if you had more artistic capability, but we'll leave that right now. Now we're gonna go say okay, we want to add a picture of you. Okay, and so here you are. Okay, and there you are. You're right into the into the document. We may put you right up here in this corner. Okay, and you can you can make me bigger. Yes, can make you bigger. Can make it smaller. So it's fully interactive. The touch surface here um, is is really really nice. It's it allows you to really get very high precision uh, move, uh, interaction. So we'll say okay, we're going to save that. And now we're going to put some other images in here. We want an apple, because it's the big apple. Uh, and pizza, who doesn't like New York pizza? So we're going to put this over here. We're going to put the apple right there. Uh, and then we're going to say, OK, that's done. It's finished right here. And now it'll load up on the screen. And that's our creation of so it's a postcard. This is, this is like an all-in-one Windows PC with a second display that's touch DLP. That's 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 one way to describe it. And it's uh, real. It's not just a prototype or something. No, right? this is a product that that just started shipping into the marketplace. Uh, we expect uh, really great things to happen uh, on this product, but then also in the future with this technology. HP's done a, an awesome job uh, with it. So this is really awesome. You don't even need to be in a really dark room, but if you are, it's even more immersive, like computing. Yeah. No. This this is uh, the brightness and the uh, brightness of the projected projected image here is uh, is such that. You can really operate it in um, in any any uh, indoor environment because it's not too far the distance, right? So and really, you any, don't need to have 
thousands of lumen right. for it to be awesome. Any indoor environment would, would work great. Uh, final thing is on this uh, Acer, a, 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 Asus product, I should say. It's P3B, it's our latest product. It's battery operated. It's uh, HD. Uh, this is at 700 lumens, and it's got the ability to be on battery for a couple of hours or to be plugged in uh, as well. It also has auto keystone correction. Uh, really a great product. Speakers? Um, yes, it's got speaker capability as well. So it's kind of like a Bluetooth speaker quality, and then you, you can uh, you have a home theater without needing to bring huge speakers you, to any. You could also add in satellite speakers if you'd like, but it's got it's got audio built in. So this is uh, this is it's beautiful. The the 800p, the 1280 by 800 yeah. uh, LED DLP is really popular. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great product. It is it's a great it is a great product. Yeah. And uh, it allows for 30,000 hours, right? Without uh, having to change the bulb? The, I mean, LEDs no have, have a long lifetime. You'd have to go to the LED manufacturer, but it is a very high long lifetime. So really for the life of the product, there's no changing any bulbs you or anything like that. You can for sure use it for 10 it's all, years. It's all solid state illumination. Everything we've shared with you today is solid state illumination. So, And then what you're not seeing here is Avagant's got some virtual reality glasses that are happening uh, in the Sands Convention Center. And then we've also got um, uh, Vuzix is also showing DLP-based uh, glasses uh, in their in their booth as well. So, so if that you can it projects, check them out. I did a video with them. It projects into a kind of like a prism in front of the eye. Yeah, it's very very cool. So, so you it's are in more the future Google Glass. Augmented reality and virtual reality both are showing here. You're going to see more of that over time in 2015 and 2016. And that's what we have for you. How about uh, 1080p and uh, 4K? Uh, 1080p, we announced uh, samples in December that were uh, the, for the smallest DLP 1080p that's ever uh, been built. Uh, and uh, that's also on our new TRP high degree tilt technology. Uh, so, so you we announced? Moved, we announced that. Um, and so uh, that is now... For this year? That is in samples. LG is actually showing one of the first products in their booth. They're going to be shipping that uh, to... Uh, actually, it's going to be in Best Buy in March. In March, uh, how big is it? Um, it's a little bit bigger than uh, because you need a bigger, a little, bigger a little, light engine. It's a little bigger than this, and that's uh, part, partially because they went for a higher brightness uh, product. But I, I you could make you, it that small, 1080p's. You can get 1080p into these form factors. You will see that in the future. Uh, and this is an example of the new 1080p chip right there. Let me see. Oh, I have to focus there. So there's a 1080p chip. That means it's bigger than a 720p chip. It is a, 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 a bit bigger than a 720p. You can see kind of see the, the difference there in terms of size. But you will be able to enable these kind of form factor products even smaller than the one that we're showing right here with this device. And we're seeing 1080p, we're seeing customers take this into uh, these products, as everything from near eye display, low, low brightness applications, all the way up to very high brightness applications. Nice. So I don't want to ask into something that's not announced, but I guess 4K would be even bigger like this. It would need to be bigger. We'll have to, we'll have we'll to keep you in a little suspense on that one. We have a couple of ideas. So we'll and working on all kinds of color improvement technologies and stuff like that we, all the we're, time. We're always working on continuous improvement to, to the performance of our products. But these are we're very, very uh, excited about these products right now. Thanks to you, millions of people have a cinema at home. <laughs> Let's hope that continues to become a bigger number.